So up, y'all? It's me, your boy, Osmond Golden. Today we're over here at AQ. I'm going to show you guys how to get the tier 2.5 gear set from AQ40. Now, AQ is at the top of Silthius, and uh, Temple of AQ is over to the right. And uh, you're just going to go inside here, and uh, we're going to start it up. Now, basically, uh, there are a bunch of different bosses that drop the different items. Um, the main thing that you need to make sure you have is you need to make sure you have the Brood Nosdorma reputation. Uh, other than that, you're going to need the item that actually drops, and then you're going to need some scarabs, and you're going to need some idols. Uh, the scarabs and idols, what they drop from is um, each each like trash mob has a chance to drop the idols and scarabs, and also there are these treasure chests that you can find, and the treasure chests will also drop um, scarabs and idols. And I'll open one of those up, and I'll show you guys how it works. And um, I just pull all the trash with me because uh, you know you might as well just for some extra scarabs and idols. I don't need this stuff. But uh, I figured I'd just show you guys. The first boss doesn't really do much of anything. He splits into like three. And um, that's actually pretty much it. He also drops a pet, which is nice. And as you can see, I got some more Scarabs and Idols. And I also got that Queer Edge Lord Insignia or like item. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is, uh, as soon as you come in through here uh, to the left, this is where you actually turn in all the items. And you can pick up the quest and you turn in the quest and the quest will give you the items. Mortal Champions is what you turn in and that's what you use the... Uh, Queer Edge Lord Insignias for that you get from each boss. And basically, uh, those will just give you more rep with Buddha Nose Dormu. I, um, you want to save those until you're, um, until you stop getting reputation from the, um, from the trash mobs. Because at some point you'll stop getting reputation from the trash mobs and then you'll actually have to, uh, kill each boss. And, um, then it kind of takes a little bit longer. So if you save all of your little tokens until then, you can kind of save some time overall. Um, as soon as you come down, uh, this boss is optional. But I uh, might as well just kill it here. Um, it's like the bug family. Uh, it doesn't really matter which order you kill them in. If you kill two of them at the same time, sometimes it'll bug out. And so you want to make sure that you kill one, then no reset health. Kill the other one, then no reset health. Kill the other one, then no reset health. Just to make sure. So you don't want to have anything stupid happen. But yeah, you'll get these like greater scarab coffer keys, and um, you'll be able to use those to like open up the, the scarab coffers. And what those will do is, uh, yeah, I think I just got one right there. And um, they don't have like scarab bags, and obviously what will be in the scarab bags are a bunch of scarabs. And as you can see here, I'm opening up one. They're all over the place, and I got some idols too. Now I'm not really going to go over which, how much reputation each and every single item drops or uh, requires, because obviously you can just pick up the quest and see for yourself. I think it might differ between uh, each and every single class. I know the amount of idols and the type of idols is different. And um, you're going to come in through here, and you're going to fight Battle Guard Sartura. Um, this, some of these, like, um, those, like, silted guys, they'll knock you up in the air, and so you want to make sure you kill them semi-quickly, because if you don't, then they can kind of cause you some trouble. Um, as soon as you kill Balgard Sartura, you go into this gauntlet thing, there's no reason to try and kill these mobs, because they'll just respawn infinitely until you actually kill, um, the boss up here. I don't even remember his name, because he's got, he's got a weird name. Um, in this video, I'm also not really going to kill Vesidius because I don't have any frost damage. Yeah, here's the boss. And so anyway, um, the boss, basically, you don't really want to pull him with all the trash because sometimes if you can't kill him very quickly, he'll port you to, like, a side of the room and stun you. And so my, my suggestion really is that most of the time, if you don't really have the gear to just kill him in a couple of hits, you probably want to just wait. And uh, as you can see there, that's where, the, um, where Vesidius is. But yeah, you want to wait and just kill all the trash. I'm not going to do Vesidius again because you need frost damage to kill him. It's not hard, but it's just kind of annoying. Vesidius does, however, he does drop um, one piece of the, uh, what's it called, of the tier 2.5 year. But uh, also, Princess Huhuron drops the same piece, too. And um, basically, there, there, are four different, there are five different pieces. Um, this tier set's a little bit different because the, I think like there's like a, a there's like helm, shoulders, chest, legs, and boots. Like, usually... Um, Usually it's gloves, but uh, in this set there isn't. Um, I know for Warriors, um, Cthune drops the offset gloves. I think it's the Glawless of Annihilation or something like that. Huron also does nothing. Uh, sometimes she'll stun you. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but again, it's not really a big deal. Uh, if you don't kill all of these mobs, they'll come with you whenever you fight the, uh, the Twin Emperors here. The Twin Emperors, uh, if you're melee, you have to kill the Emperor that's uh, in towards the back of the room, and if you're caster, you have to kill this emperor. Uh, it's closer nearby. The reason for that is that uh, this mob is, um, he is just immune to melee damage, and the other monster is immune to uh, uh, caster damage. 
And so uh, you basically have to kind of just like attack your, like if you're melee, you attack the melee mob. If you're caster, you attack caster mob. I actually got the pet there, which is nice. And these guys also dropped the helmet uh, for tier 2.5. Uh, Velcor's diadem, and uh, I think there's a couple other different variations for it. And as soon as you kill them, then you come up there. Another thing with the emperors is that um, they will like switch places occasionally, and also heal themselves. Now the heal used to be an issue, but it actually nerf the heal. And so honestly, if you have any sort of like really decent DPS, I think you need like 25k DPS to be able to out DPS the heal. So it's really not a big deal. But um, mm. If you're trying to do this at 85, you might have a bad time. Um, pulling all this trash is also a bad idea, and the reason for that is that basically sometimes they'll mind control you and they'll cast this mind play on you that will disorient you and like make you. Oh, I got I, yeah, I got a red one right there actually. Uh, throw that away. But um, if you don't have the red one, the red one gives you a, a feat of strength if you learn it. And then you come in right in through here, through this big open area, and there's this little thing here, and that's actually a boss. And uh, Uru the Gorger, you want to make sure that you're in melee range. If you're a caster, he'll keep going underground. It's really annoying. And uh, he also drops the leggings. As you can see there, there's uh, Uru's intact hide or something like that. And you can turn those in along with some scarabs and the uh, idols. And uh, if you have the reputation, and you can get those items too. Aki is probably one of my favorite instances. And sometimes I just do it occasionally just for fun. And so I have like a million scarabs. So if you're on Kel'Thuzad, uh, US Alliance, Man, if you need some scarabs or idols, hit me up. Like, I, I give you as many as you need because I have so many of those things. After you kill Uru, you come up through here and um, basically you come up this like, little winding path up to Cthulhu. Now, Cthulhu used to be in Boss Bottle Solo also, and uh, basically the reason for that is that he would like he'd put you in his stomach, and whenever he put you in his stomach, then I would like kill you because there'd be nobody in combat with him, and so you had to pull like Uru like, over to him and like a bunch of dumb stuff. And so basically, it doesn't really matter now. Uh, you kill the first phase. First phase doesn't matter. Uh, second phase really doesn't matter either. Um, this fight's like really uh, face for all. Like it's a level 60 fight. As soon as you come in, he'll put you in his stomach. You have to kill these two tentacles. And then you come up to this like little like gray thing. And uh, it'll port you back out. And uh, at that point, Cthulhu will be able to take uh, normal damage. And you can kill him. And so as you can see, it's not really a big deal. And Cthulhu drops a chest piece. And he also dropped drop, 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 Dark Edge of Insanity. It's too bad I am a Warlock. And uh, if you get a Quirage Regalia, or a Quirage Armaments, you can uh, turn it in and uh, with some Aluminium uh, ingots. And you can get these pretty cool weapons. And uh, there's one for casters and one for melee. Uh, one thing that sucks about this instance is there's no like really way to port back. And so I do my normal uh, way of porting back, which is killing myself and then resurrecting. But anyway, that's pretty much all for this video. So thanks for watching. And like, comment, subscribe.